Wonderful. Good afternoon. Hi, everyone. Nice to meet you again. It's Wednesday afternoon. It's Marcus time. And today we are going to talk about how to backtest your trading strategy with MetaTrader, including the following questions. What is backtesting in general? What does a backtest measure? What makes a backtest successful or unsuccessful? and how to backtest your, or in this case, my strategy with MetaTrader uh, Special Edition. Um, make sure, guys, that you stay until the end of this webinar or the end of this video, um, when I'll be showing you how to build confidence um, when with such a backtest with MetaTrader. So my name is Marcus Gabel. I'm a professional analyst, speaker, trader, coach, mentor, uh, I have my own escort service with happy ending for your own trading success. And yes, I'm a real trader. I only trade with real accounts, of course. And I'm engaged in this trading global markets for over 20, 22 years right now. And uh, I'm really grateful for this opportunity to s share my experience with you. So uh, more information you will find on my homepage dauhau-trading.com or if you can if you have if you can speak german then uh, watch the homepage trading on persönlichkeit.de in this webinar webinar series trading spotlight i'm partnering with admiral marcus which is a um, forex and cfd broker that offers trading on over 8000 different financial instruments through one of the world's best trading platforms beta trader 5 and finally if you watch this uh, video on YouTube, remember to like this video, share it with other traders or subscribe so you will never miss an episode. So this is the introduction for our videos. Let's say welcome again to our Wednesday afternoon session. I hope you're doing good, still doing good. And you are, and your families, of course, your beloved ones, uh, you're still healthy, of course. So uh, it's a crucial day. We got new announcements from our government here in Germany, and we will see what will they have to talk to us about the lockdown in the future. I guess it's a really difficult situation, really, really difficult uh, decision they have to make. Uh, I guess they're struggling between the hill fix security in Germany or in other uh, countries as well, and the economic uh, pressure. So let's see what we'll do. So I'm really grateful that uh, I'm a trader and I can share my experience with you guys. And But let me say this first of all, you know I'm a German guy. I speak English since four years right now. I had a teacher for one and a half year. It was a nature speaker from Los Angeles. And after that, I, I trained it by myself. So please be uh, patient with me if I miss some words or my grammar is not the best, but I do all my best that you can understand me. And uh, I guess it's, how should I say, uh, I can improve it from week to week a little bit, um, a little bit better. So this is a pure education webinar. We are focusing on uh, this topic today, what is backtesting, how you can backtest your own, um, how should I say, your own uh, strategy. And I want to talk to you about basically what does it mean to have a back test? So yes, I provide signals, Patrick, of course, but if you want to follow my own strategy, if you want to follow my uh, signals or the signals from Paul or Jens as well, then I invite you to stay till the, un until the end of this webinar. Then I want to introduce you to our Trading Spotlight community. And there will, uh, in this community, we share our signals that you can follow them and you can be successful as all the other guys. In this community, we have more than 80 attendees right now. It's a great community. And um, I can say, and I'm really proud of my colleagues and me, all people are very profitable and very successful. They are following the signals we have. So, but where does the signals coming from? And, um, this is one of the, how should I say, things you have to do before you start with trading. You have to follow signals. You have to follow rules and you have to stick to your rules. And today I want to show you how you can 
uh, build up or grow up your confidence in your own strategy. And for that, for that, you have to make a back test. So based on the fact that trading is a game of probability, you should make sure that your used trading strategy is profitable in the long run. Why do I mark this point long run? First of all, you have to understand that trading is a game of probability. You know, my beloved word is, or my beloved sentence is, my, my preferred sentence is, we are on the right side of the chart and nobody knows how, what will happen there, even in the next minute, we cannot know. So you, have, you can make money on two strategies or in two options in, uh, in the market. The first option is your name is George Soros or Stanley Druckenmiller or Bill Lipschitz. And you have so much money in your account that you can make money by yourself if you have influence to the market. And you are the chosen one. You are the Harry Potter of trading and you can... Uh, wish uh, what you want into the market. So if you don't have so much money on your account, you have to choose the second option. You have to work with strategies. And strategies are a math, is a game of math, numbers, and probabilities. So you know, human are working in the market and every single human has its own perception of the market. So if you would know what will happen in the next second in the market or the next minute, you have to call all attendees or participants in the market and you have to ask in the same second, hey guy, what do you want to do here right now? This is the only possibility that you can figure out what will, hap what will happen next in the market. So you don't can do that. It's uh, unless you, have, you are the chosen one, but I am not. And, if you are the chosen one, I'm congratulations to you, send you congrats to you, and I'm really, really happy for you. But if not, then you have to work with strategies. And you know, I will never get tired to say you this one. Trading success, guys, is based on 10% strategy and 90% human factor. And you have to catch up and you have to build up this uh, human factor. So based on strategy, you can make a back test to figure out, is it successful what you want to do in the future? So in the long run, even we make a, a, a back test, maybe the last week, and you can see, oh, this is a profitable strategy. Maybe you work with, with uh, moving averages or something else. Today, I want to show you a little bit of back test about my own trading strategy. It's trend trading, you know, with uh, Fibonacci retracements. But this is a short view. It's, it's, it's uh, respectively, it's a, a shortcut on a view, but uh, you have to see it in the long run. So, but if you want to see if it's successful, then you have to prove it. And such a back test can deliver you this proof, man, this proof that the strategy you want to trade is successful. So such a back test allows traders to test potential trading strategies, strategies by using historical data. So sometimes I have a little bit, um, it's a challenge for me to speak, you know, I have this lines on my teeth because it's to fix my my teeth sometimes it's a little bit hard it's it's hard in german and in english as well but uh yes let's cope this challenge too okay so uh next slide what is back testing again your trading software in our case we use metatrader se special edition metatrader 4 um edition recreates the behavior of trades and their reaction to a trading strategy you want to make in today and in the future. And this resulting data can then be used to measure and optimize the effectiveness of a given strategy before applying it to real market conditions. And by in God's sake, please make 
your strategy or trade your strategy first on a demo account. And only you can prove it that you can cope the human factor and the strategy is profitable. Then please switch to a real account. Never before. Please don't do it. You are in a real danger to get addicted to trading if you don't make it in the real, in a, how should I say, in a real way? Is it the right word? In a real way? You know, trading should be a part of your life, no more, no less, and not in the other direction. Trading or life should never be a part of trading, always in the other direction. Trading should be a small part of your life. Then, I promise you, then you have a great chance to become successful in trading. So, uh, backtesting strategies work on the assumption that trades that have performed successfully, attention, in the past will perform well in the future. Hmm, why, why do I say in that special way? There is a big, big mistake and a really big mistake and almost all traders fall in this trap. This is, uh, if you stay till the end, of the, the end of this webinar, I will explain to you this big trap and you have to avoid to fall into this trap. So, but, this is the assumption that the trades or the strategy which works very well in the past should also work well in the future. This is the assumption. It's not the reality, not always. It's just only an assumption, guys. So what does a backtest measure? The definition of a backtesting application is a set of technical rules applied to a set of historical price data and the subsequent analysis of the returns that a strategy would have generated over a specific period of time. So you can make your trading, your back test based maybe last week or last year or as long as MetaTrader allows it. So this electronic process, just an electronic process, it's not a human process. This electronic process allows us to check results online and gain confidence in our strategy today used to take months, even years in the past. So to make a back test, this is how the word sounds like back. It is in the past. You have the same option to make your own test. Maybe you choose any kind of strategy and you do it. On a demo account, of course, please, God's sake, only on a demo account. Use it, maybe in one minute or in five minutes, but this kind of test will take days, weeks, months, years to get a really interesting result. In normal way in our branch, we used to say for a really good result, you have to make more than 100 trades. And then you have um, a really good result with a really good, um, how should I say, expression. Yes. Um, then you can figure out is it profit profitable or not. So it, it's not the best idea to build your own strategy after five trades. And you say, oh, I have five winners. Great, I will do it. That's stupid. You know, you, you, I, I will say you need more than 100 trades and then you have a good result. And then you have a result you can work with. Even it's a bad result or a good result. Let's see it later in MetaTrader. But you know, our lifetime, is limited. All of us, deep in our subconsciousness, we realize that our life is limited. Nobody knows if we will wake up tomorrow again or next week. 
So therefore, it's not the best idea to make a real life test because it will take a lot of time in front of the screens. And you look at this nice picture, this wonderful, lovely girl. Maybe you have kids. I don't have, so I don't have one, unfortunately, but maybe you have kids. So what is more worthful? Spending time with your kiddies and to see them growing up or to spend time in front of the PC to watch stupid red and green candles. Please think about it. So give the electronic process the chance to give you this information what you need. So this is the and this is the interesting factor about the meaning of a real of a back test, the human factor. So the technology the technological advancement advancements, Jesus Christ, have simplified this entire process for us. We don't have to do it by ourselves, which takes too many lifetime. Those who apply diligence and common sense to backtesting trading strategies are usually in a better position to be rewarded with tremendous gains. So therefore, that is what the backtest measures. So what makes the backtest now successful, of course? I would say a successful backtest should bring you some benefits and create an edge for your trading. The main benefit of such a backtest is that traders can determine whether their chosen strategies will deliver their expected returns over the viewed time. And a good backtest helps traders spot trading community uh, opportunities by looking at past price, price movements and recurring patterns, which helps them develop their technical analysis skills. So this should be make uh, backtests successfully. But watch the first sentence again. A successful backtest should bring you some benefits and create an edge for your trading. And especially the last words, an edge for your trading. I don't know how many experience do you have in your trading right now. And today I'm really, really grateful that so many guys here are attendees this Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm really grateful that, that you spent a lifetime with me. I love you guys. I hope you're doing good. And I will sh share my experience with you. So there's no holy, there's, that doesn't exist the holy grail in trading. So I guess it's just only a perception on the right side of the chart. And I hope you have the correct perception on the right side of the chart. And please, this is my wish from the bottom of my heart. Please give trading a chance to make you successful. Trading at itself could be successful, but it's the human part which makes it, which, which makes it successful for you. This is my point. Work on the human factor. This is so much more important than any kind of strategy. It gives you an edge for your trading. You know, guys, so many people failed in trading. We have this average, average number of 76% they failed in trading over the last three months. Um, if we have, um, if we have, how should I say, if you make a, a statistic over one year, we have a huge number from more than 90% they failed in trading, but it's not the point that they have the, the wrong strategy. It's always the human factor. And this is one of the points we have to realize that, it's, that we only can have an edge on our trading. No more, no less. So just a moment. What does it mean to have an edge for your trading? So the strategy you should use or you would use should have a hit quote more than 50%. If you want, uh, if you have a strategy which gives you 50-50, then you, go, you can go to casino. This is more fun. In trading, it's wasting of lifetime and wasting of money, of course. Such a strategy should give you an edge for your trading, but never forget or remember there doesn't exist a 100% strategy. 
it doesn't exist. Because why? Why not? It's a kind of perception. And it's, there are people, humans, like you and me, with our families, with our problems, with our own strugglings in our head, with your mind fucking we have the whole day. Uh, you know, you're talking the whole day to yourself. And uh, guys, of course, uh, you can measure that by scientists, uh, by science. Um, mans are talking over 6,000, no, 65,000 words a day with yourself. This is kind of mind fucking, you know. But just only mans. Woman talking double. 130,000 words a day with themselves. So no wonder that we are completely done in the evening. So, and if you come to trading, you triple these words with yourself. This is real. I know it's a hard word, but it's real. This is mind fucking the whole day if you make trading. So, and this is why people failed in trading, not about a strategy. It's a human part, only the human part. So, and this is a little bit of my job to talk and to encourage and to support you in that way. So, and trading can give you only an edge for your trading, no more, no less. Please say goodbye to the illusion having 100% strategies. Never works, never, never, never. And you will waste your worthful lifetime if you are looking for such a strategy. It doesn't exist. If would if uh, would be uh, exist such a strategy, hmm, I guess huh, the chosen one had found it already, and we wouldn't say sit here and we wouldn't talk about that topic. Robert, hi, nice to meet you here again. Okay, so what makes a backtest uh, more successful? Backtesting is a really good way to build confidence. Human part as traders gain experience by testing trades on hmm, past price information. And this, help, this helps build their confidence for when they start the trading in a live account. All of these factors combine to help traders achieve more success in their trading. Please let me just open the window. It's warm. So, I'm always getting hot when I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> so, um, and yeah, you can see the, build, the human part, this uh, building confidence. You know, what is the big problem on the right side of the chart? Hmm, it's always the same. We cannot control what will happen. That's the problem all of us feel deep in us, uh, in our, in, the deepest heart, we feel that on the right side, you can stick to your rules, you can be disciplined, you have the best chosen and best pro-proofed strategy, but always with every new trade, you are on the right side of the chart. And the first, you are in minus, you are in the loss. If you start with your trading, you are in full of risk and this gives you uncertainty that's people are uh, gonna be afraid on the right side of the chart and they're feeling fear. So, but it's one of the tools. It's not the holy grail, of course not. Um, it's one of the tools to have such a back test. If you know that you follow, uh, that you follow rules from a proven positive strategy that gives you a good feeling that you know that most of your trades are a winner, are gonna be successful. But please be aware that some of the trades are gonna be losers. And this is the real challenge in trading, not the profit. The losers are the, uh, are the big challenge in trading. And this is the point why so many people struggle and fail in trading cause with every single trade, you start on the right side on the chart. You never will know 
if it's going to be a winner or a loser with every single trade. And maybe you will have one, two, three, four, five losers in a row. It's completely normal. That's the nature, that's the nature of the thing in trading. If you cannot hold out this situation, please choose another hobby. Do different things, but stop with this kind of trading. This is the real challenge in trading, guys. So, and uh, this is the part of confidence. And uh, this is my, my personal advice to you. Please don't make copy and paste. Even you follow maybe my strategy or the strategy from Paul or from Jens or from any other guys here from Admiral Markets, uh, for example, Heiko or uh, how is it? Um, I don't know. Uh, I've forgotten. Never mind. It doesn't work copy and paste, but it works if you understand the strategy that you can follow that. But copy and paste is not the right thing. You have to understand what the strategy will teach you. Not the teacher, the strategy. You have to understand what you want to, what, uh, what you want to make by yourself in trading. This is the point. And only if you understand what you do, you can compare it with your life, with your only job. In job, you can make copy and paste. After a while, you have your own working style. And then you will never be afraid if you go to your job every day because you understand what you have to do. You have confidence that you have your experience, that you can trust yourself, that your hands are working right and everything is fine. So in trading, it's completely the same way. It makes no sense that you believe you can copy and paste me. That doesn't work. I can explain you the strategy or the rules I follow. And I can teach you that it is positive. And this is on the long run, that it's a really interesting strategy. For example, trend trading, accumulation phase, trading in direction of the trend. It has a strategy, it has a probability of almost 70%. But it makes no sense if you make copy and paste. I want, and this is my job, that you understand what you do in trading. Because I would love to carry you, really. I, make, I made so many mistakes in the past in my own trading life and I lost everything, really. Not only money, I lost my family. I lost my confidence. I lost my self-control. I lost my discipline. I lost almost my life, almost. I was standing here on the river and I wanted to jump more than 10 years ago. And if I could, I would carry you. But I cannot. The only way I can give you confidence and I, give you, I can give you the promise that I will do everything to teach you in a way that you can make trading successful on the long run. And I promise you, if you start with real trading, you will go on a new journey, on the journey to yourself. And this is really, really interesting. So a strategy is just only a small part of trading. So let's see um, what we can do there. What kind of information we get from such a back testing? If you perform such a back test, you can get a wide range of indicators, like just we go on it through it. Total return of equity, that's uh, returns expressed in terms of percentage of a total equity invested or the pro profit loss uh, numbers, total profit and losses generated by this strategy expressed as a percentage of the invested equity and total gains loss ratio. This ratio of how many trades resulted in gains and how many uh, in losses. So then we have the analyzed, uh, annualized uh, uh, total return likely to be generated by a strategy over the entire calendar year, for of course. Then we have this volatility, 
what kind of market conditions were your strategy working in uptrends, downtrends, or both of them, and the risk adjustment returns, calculating your returns in relation to the risk involved within a strategy. This just kind of numbers. And, um, but let me say this one, you cannot fix anything and you cannot set everything in your strategy to get 100%. That never will work. You can do nothing to cut the number of, uh, of drawdown to zero. That never works. Just it's a human part. It's the human part in trading. Forward testing uh, in demo account can be helpful to prevent loss of real money. Forward testing on demo with VPS online server, not on, ah, okay, good. I don't know. Um, maybe it works. Um, every back test depends on certain variables that can affect the outcome of the entire process. So that means you should be aware of the following three factors. Here you can read it on the slide. It can alter the results of trading strategy, maybe the data quality in source. That means the accuracy and reliability of price data in MetaTrader is important, is important in backtesting, of course. You, may, you need stable uh, source and quality of this data. So it also has to be relative to your strategy. And remember that not all data is recreate, uh, created equal in the over-the-count markets, especially in Forex market, you know. So determinism, you should get similar results every time you backtest the strategy for a defined data set. It should be work in more than one market and it should be work in one than more time frame, of course. And the logic of trade execution, uh, remember backtests are never the perfect representation of the real markets, of course not. So you will be missing important factors like slippage, latency, lat latency rejections or even requotes. Such things never happen in a backtest, but in real life and even not in a forward testing, of course not. That's, that's a real fact. Okay, so let's do an example. I give you one, just one, one example, guys. And this is um, my, no, this one. So this is my, Meter Trader, a uh, special edition here. No, just not this one. So here we go. Okay. First of all, if you want to make a back test, and of course, in this uh, example, I back test my own strategy. And you know, my strategy is built on trend trading. I have four rules. I need a valid trend. I need a young trend, more, not more than four, the fourth trend arm then I need a correction more than 38%. And then I have a balanced candle in Heiken Ashi. That's the four rules. And my target is always placed on the opposite direction of uh, my Fibonacci retracement. So, which means if I have a correction down to 61%, my target is on 161 on the opposite direction, in the trend direction. If I have 38, 61 as well. So the deeper I go in the correction or the deeper the correction is working, the, uh, the closer my target is placed. This is the kind how this expert advisor I use for my own trading here and we can make a back test. Just, that's just only a short view. I don't know result right now, but uh, we can do that. So open uh, in your MetaTrader view and then your strategy tester. So this is how it works. So here, you can choose on the right side, such an indicator, or you can choose maybe an expert advisor. So I use this, my own expert advisor right now. So I now, um, and um, now you can choose a market. Maybe I choose now MetaTrader, uh, Dow Jones, <laughs> sorry, Meta, uh, Dow Jones, but you can also use uh, whatever you want here. So let's see in Dow Jones. So now, I choose the period of MetaTrader uh, of uh, this time frame, and let's see five minute. And the spread is the current spread we see here. And here on this button on the right side, you can uh, check your expert advice. You can set any settings here and adjust any settings here, what you have to do, what you want to do there. 
So just a simple example right now, you can do whatever you want here in this strategy. It's just only what the sense of such a back testing. So, and then on, uh, that's the model, uh, we shoot every tick on it. Then we use a special date. So I say last week, I want to check how does it work last week, Dow Jones, five minute chart from Monday last week till, um, no, here we go. This is, uh, no, I want to check this one from uh, last Monday to last Thursday, cause uh, Thursday, cause Friday was a uh, holiday. And then I want to see the visual mode. I want to see it in the chart, of course. And uh, yes, that's all. And now let's make this back test and you have to go to start here. That's uh, the point. So now it's open the chart, I hope so. So now I can uh, make a stop here maybe. Then I can choose my own uh, template. And so, so now let's go on. So now you see what will happen. I make the right adjustments here and you can see this is a real backtesting of my own strategy. So maybe it will take one, two minutes that uh, gets to the end. So you see it's uh, draw by its own the, the trend and the last, the last correction zone. And then if we get a result uh, or that we get a signal, for example, so let's wait for the first signal. So you see, it's uh, now it's an uptrend again. So you see, and that's the point. You can see, I measure the last move from, from the last point three up to last point two. And then for example, the deeper the correction will go, the closer my target is placed. So now I'm waiting for a signal. A signal, basically, I need a correction by close, a closing price deeper than 38% and then a balanced candle and then I have the chance to make a trade. So let's see, maybe it works, I don't know. So now we have a deep correction. Now I wait for a real balanced candle so you can make the adjustment. So I don't have a real balanced candle. So, but as you can see here, maybe I can fix the, the adjustment a little bit better. So I, I would have some balanced candle, but you can see it works. Basically it works. A trend, a trend continuation, guys, look at this one. It's five minute shot. It's always more likely than a trend break. So you see, that's the point why I love trend trading. It's natural and I love to use it. So, and you can do it in every time frame, in every market. So just have a look. Now, now we have a downtrend. So now to just stop here. So you see, that was a downtrend here on the, the right side. So we had a correction deeper than 31. Then we saw our balance candles and then uh, the expert wiser made here or set a pending order. But my strategy says, if I, uh, if I don't, uh, uh, we are filled out the pending order in trading after the fourth period, it stopped. So then the pending order will delete it. Okay, and this happens here. So that was no trade. That's a kind of security. Okay, let's go on. So no trade, unfortunately. <laughs> so I didn't prepare that before I made this because uh, it's real life. I don't know what will happen here right now. Maybe no trade, I don't know right now, but it's just kind what you can do in trading. And so, Let's see, you see trend continuation, ah, it's easy. Follow the trend, you see, this is real life. And this gives me over the past almost 20 years, this confidence that I love this trend trading cause a trend continuation. So even you have a young trend to run a second, the third or the fourth correction, you have a great opportunity to, uh, to follow the trend and the trend continuation is always more likely than a trend break. So you see, that's really easy. And this is the way how the back test works. It just only you can test your strategy. So this is a completely strategy 
After that, I will show you by a um, uh, moving average. It's a little bit uh, faster than that. So now we have a new trend. So now let's wait for the correction. Maybe we get one. So you see, we don't. We don't have a correction. Now we try it again. More than that, but no correction more than 38%. So we have a trend continuation. Again, we wait for the next correction. Let's see, now we have. And let's see, now we have a trend continuation again to lower side, you see, I love it. So, and maybe you can do that in higher time frames by yourself, it's really easy. That's my job, how I watch and investigate the markets. So I hope it's um, close or over then. So maybe just one minute. But you see, this is my own expert wise, this is my own strategy. But I, most of the times I do it by myself manually. I click through the chart because I only work in five hour and four hour charts and a weekly chart, of course. And uh, here it works really, really, really nice. So new trend. So, but you see, it's really strictly rules, strict rules, because only if you have a correction more than 38%, then a correct um, balance candle, and then I make this uh, trade. So let's see, we are almost done here. Just maybe a couple of seconds here. So last week, that was look now. And, and you, of course you can see, uh, if you follow my uh, videos, if you follow my uh, webinars, um, and next month I make a special webinar about the point of control. If you're interested in it, follow me next week in uh, May, of course. And here you can see we always go back to the point of control. That's a uh, beside effect, of course. So let's see. Okay, now we are gone. We are done. And if you are done with this back test, you can go to your report and then you can see it's always zero. I'm sorry, but normally you can see how all your net profits here and your profit factor. So let's... Um, uh, let's see a different strategy and I want to do that uh, moving average here. Um, this is really going to be fine here and just only this one. Okay, so let's see. So here we go. This is shown just only uh, moving average. I guess this is moving exp, exp uh, no, this is not uh, moving average, oh, 12, this is 12, okay. So now there you can see there are some trades and then go to report. So now you can see that is the most important number, profit factor, 0.73. So this is bullshit. You need a profit factor more than one. So only if you have a profit factor more than one, then you know this strategy works. In this time frame, five minute, Last week in Dow Jones, it doesn't work. So even you have to fix some adjustments, maybe take another one. So let's see, we can do that in that way. So Jay, just make an adjustment and uh, moving average. And let's use moving average, not 12. Let's use um, 21. So let's use 21. So, and let's start again. Let's see if it will happen. Okay, so now see it's done again. Now see the report. Okay, almost it's gonna be better. Oh, 0.99. So this is um, how it works. And maybe so you can make your adjustments and let's try it again, guys. And uh, let's do it in uh, the last example I want to show. So maybe 34, moving average. It's a Fibonacci number, of course. And let's make a start again. So let's see the trades. 
So here we go. Here the report. Yeah, you see, there we go. Profit factor, 1.52. Profit have a strategy. Just only move um, a higher time, a uh, higher uh, moving average. Maybe 35, uh, 34, it's a uh, Fibonacci uh, number. And this is a really interesting insight. Higher time frames, higher numbers are always more successful than a smaller one. So, and in that way, you can check everything. This is how a meta trade, how does the back test work? And with that, you can test whatever you want. You can build your own expert advisor, you can build your own moving average, try it in different markets, and then you know if you have a positive profit factor, that it's fine, it should be more than one, of course. The higher, the better. So, and now you see, you have profit trades five, 25%, profit trade 76%, great, wonderful. That's really, really wonderful. And now uh, uh, consecutive losses, for example, six. So there are all that numbers. And uh, do we have maximum drawdown? Yes, 1%. So, okay, I guess this is fine. So you can use it. Finally, guys, it just was an example. And this is a really important note, and then I'm done. Sorry that I get a little over time. Please note that, the, that even the best back test cannot guarantee future profits. Infrequent liquidity is a frequent issue in the markets. Please remember that. And it is governed by various external factors, and it's very difficult to simulate. Please, I have to say that. And finally, never forget the human factor on the other side of the chart. This is really important. And this is another last important point, guys. The electronic process has no human factor. The PC never think about if I'm tired, should I make this trade? Should I don't or shouldn't I make this trade? The computer doesn't do that, but you do that. So if you make a back test, then you have to make sure that you exactly, and not maybe, that you exactly make the same trades with the same behavior the computer would do. Never forget that. And if you cannot make that sure, you cannot expect, you cannot expect that you will get the same computer aus, just Alexa, sorry. That <laughs> uh, you will never get the same results. Please be aware of that, guys. Okay, let's make a short conclusion. If you want to prove your trading strategy, make a back test. And that's a good way to build confidence as traders gain experience by testing trades on past price information. And please know that even the best back testing cannot guarantee future profits. And please, again, guys, please, again, really, really, again, if you make your back test, you have to make the same by yourself. And if you cannot guarantee that, you cannot expect the same results. And this is the big trap, I have to say. People believe in back tests, but then they are wondering why they didn't, don't get the same results. The back test or the PC never think about the human part. They make all trades, all, in the night, in the day, whenever. A computer doesn't think about human factor. Computer, aus. The human factor, you are on the right side of the chart and do the human part. And you must do and you must be sure that you can have the same behavior like your PC. And this is the big, big trap people failed about backtesting. So guys, this is our trading spotlight community. Let me invite you to this wonderful community. We are more than 80 wonderful, amazing people there. And all, most of them are really successful in trading. There we share our signals from Paul, Jens and myself. And then you can follow the only requirement, open a real 
account, deposit some money on it, and follow the signals from Paul Jens and me in our webinars. And I promise you, you'll get on a real interesting journey which, uh, with us. So next Friday, this Friday again, my congenious partner Jens Klopp will follow with the next uh, webinar, explain market neutral trading strategies, uh, including what is pair trading, what are the benefits of it, and when should you consider pair trading? Friday, it's, uh, no, of course, not 20th of March. Sorry, guys, this is April. This is the 17th of April. That's my fault, sorry for that. Of course, uh, Friday, 17th, same time, same place. Uh, I wish you all the best, guys. If you have any questions, type to Admiral Markets. It was my pleasure that you spend your lifetime with me, and I hope you have a little bit benefit of that and have a little bit fun. You know, the best thing is we are humans, and we have to get back to our humanity, and let's work together, guys, not to each other, not against each other. Let's work together. We can cope all challenges if we work together. So I wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and please stay healthy and take care for yourself and for your beloved ones. See you. Bye-bye.